Hello, friends. I'm coming to you from the sanctuary at Bedford Presbyterian Church. It's Holy Week, and in this time of physical distancing, I'm well aware that many of you might be sad that we're not able to gather here in this place. We had been planning to gather for worship tonight, Monday, Thursday, and on Easter for our Easter celebration. But because of the COVID-19 virus, we're all staying in our homes, which is the important thing to do at this time. Instead, we'll be gathering for worship tonight for our Monday Thursday service via Zoom. Just click the link in your Hilltop Crier email. And then on Sunday morning, we'll be gathering for worship on Bedford Community Television. Bedford residents can just turn on their television uh, to Bedford Community TV, or you can go to bedfordtv.com and click on channel 16's live stream. It is Holy Week, and the stories of Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday, and even Easter, are filled with fearful things. And in these fearful days, you might wonder, why would we focus on any of this? The story of Easter, though, in the end, is a story of hope a story of renewal, a story of life made new, the world being changed. And so we offer our hymns of praise. Be not afraid, sing out for joy, Christ is risen, alleluia. Be not afraid, sing out for joy, Christ is risen, alleluia. In these videos in recent weeks, I've been closing with a prayer that I pray on a regular basis that comes from St. Patrick. It goes like this. Christ is a light, illumine and guide me. Christ is a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me, Christ beside me on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Christ is a light, Christ is a shield, Christ beside me on my left and my right. Friends, may you be blessed in this holy week. And as we prepare for a joyful Easter celebration apart from one another, we look forward to being able to gather face to face soon. Peace be with you.